So today I'm going to be replacing the windshield cowl on my 2015 F30 diesel, so 328D, um, which is this plastic piece at the base of the windshield. At the very base of the windshield, there's a rubber part that's like a seal, and it just gets old, and it's cracked, and it's falling apart, and I'm going to replace it. I have the replacement in a box. And I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube about doing this, and um, the first problem I ran into is, and this is, I think this is, it's the hardest part of this job, is getting these windshield wipers off. <clears throat> They're each held down with a bolt, and once that bolt is tightened, I guess the bottom part of the arm gets stuck onto the the uh, bolt there, the, the nut that holds it, just squishes it so far down that it's hard to get out. And I had ordered, along with the replacement cowl, a removal tool from ECS Tuning, which they recommended when I bought it, but it is not <coughs> big enough to fit around the bottom part of the arm here. So I had to send it back and I told them to stop recommending it to people because a lot of people on there complain about it. Um, and what I ended up doing is I went to um, <coughs> uh, Napa Auto Parts and I found this thing, which is a, it's called a two jaw gear puller. And this thing is big enough that it will be able to fit around that uh, bolt and help pull that wiper arm off, hopefully. Um, another thing I'm going to do that's different from a lot of the videos I watched on YouTube is a lot of them talk about taking some of these trim panels off and <clears throat> loosening a bunch of the stuff related to getting to the cowl first. But I would suggest that you start with the wiper arms first because if you can't get the wiper arms off, then the rest of the project is dead in the water, as I found out. So that's my suggestion. So let's get started. All right, so let's start with the wiper arms. There's a little plastic cover <clears throat> that goes over the nut. Take that off. Um, then there's a 16 millimeter uh, nut holding it on and let's start by loosening that I'd already loosened that last week when I started this so that's gonna come off pretty easily there's that set that aside and let's get our gear puller tool and see how that works Slide under, slide under each side of the wiper arm, hopefully. Okay, there we go. And I need to raise the puller part of it a little bit so I can get it centered <clears throat> over the bolt like that. And now I'm going to slowly turn it until it's pushing on the top of that bolt there. It's <clears throat> getting progressively tighter. And I'm keeping the sides of the arm, I'm squeezing on them <clears throat> as I'm tightening the top of the thing to try and keep it centered and get a shot of that and <clears throat> okay so here's what that looks like you can see I've got the pulley over the wiper arm there and I've got the two little claws on either side of the wiper arm and the top of that bolt centered over the other bolt on the wiper arm. <clears throat> Slowly turn the top and hopefully it will pull the wiper arm straight up. Okay, that did it because as I was putting pressure on it with the pulley, all of a sudden I heard a kind of a 
little slight bang, and that's when I knew that the arm had released. So then I just took the pulley off, and bolt that was in there, and there we go. So let's just do the other one on the right side, passenger side. That's the sound. Okay, now that the wipers are out of the way, that middle one was a little bit harder to get off for whatever reason, um, but it did eventually come off. Just take your time. Don't rush. You don't want to. I don't want to break like the wiper motor or anything under there. God knows what that would cost to replace. Um, and now that they're both off, I'm going to work on removing all the pieces that are in the way. Um, my understanding is that on um, the underside of this, there's a clip under here under this trim piece. Some people say you don't need to remove it, but it seems like there's only a few little plastic grommets in the way, so I'm going to take it off. Helps to have one of these trim tools to get these for holding this down. I will put the link to describe I mean, in the description for these things, but you can buy them on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. And it's just handy to have for doing all kinds of stuff like this where you need to remove something like this that's plastic, but you don't want to damage other things around it. You're taking that little side trim piece off. Um, note that <clears throat> when you pull up on these, they actually come out all the way. Um, so they can fly off in all directions and you can lose them. So I would say bring them up a little bit and then just pull them the rest of the way off and set them aside. piece I see at the <clears throat> bottom edge here that actually stays with this piece of plastic trim down here so but other than that it is out of the way next we're going to move on to removing this piece here on both sides there's another piece over there it's just held on by you can see this just basically just came off already it's so loose here but right there <clears throat> and then there are a few little plastic pieces here that um, have a little indicator on it where you just turn it a quarter turn to the left with an Allen wrench and um, and then take it off. <clears throat> I actually used a 10 millimeter wrench on these so there's a couple of different ways you can loosen them but whatever they come they loosen pretty easily and then once that's loose goodbye. Oh I think that's the ABS controller. Next, we're going to use a 5mm Allen key to loosen these fasteners that run along the base of the windshield. Um, similar to the other ones, it's just like a quarter of a turn um, to loosen it. And um, then this whole thing should pop off. So I've loosened the pieces that the fasteners at the bottom of the cowl here. Um, but one more thing is that trim piece that we removed to get into here. There is uh, on either side, there's uh, a fastener that we can also now get to that you can use a trim tool to uh, loosen just by pulling up. And that's what it looks like. And that's where it was. I just want to note how this side of the cowl fits underneath this 
trim piece that runs down the side of each side of the window. And there is, if I can get it out here, I can show you that there's a little metal piece that's part of the cowl there uh, that fits underneath what well, looks like it fits underneath the glass. So I do have to do a little bit of work to get this out from underneath there, that trim there. All right, so there it is. And this would be a really good time to clean this whole base of the windshield. As you can see, I don't know, it's mine is pretty disgusting. It's, you know, little broken pieces of plastic that have, I mean, rubber that came off the old cow. Um, so I'm going to first get a vacuum and suction up all those little pieces there um, and then clean it up. By the way, the kit that I bought from uh, ECS Tuning came with a bunch of these replacement plastic pieces, um, as well as these little caps that go over the these two odd holes that are in the windshield cowl, <clears throat> which I don't know what purpose they serve. Uh, other videos show people taking them off the old one cleaning them up and putting them on the new one for some reason mine came with them i don't remember specifically ordering them but i guess it's nice to have new ones and so here is the new versus the old piece and as you can see you can see how badly cracked this was here um what's amazing is that <clears throat> i also have a 29 uh, E90 and a 2012 um, X1 and both of their those cars there's virtually no deterioration on the windshield cowl even though they're considerably older so I don't know if it's because my car sat out in the sun a lot and didn't get a lot of garage time unlike the other two but um, you can see how bad that one was and how much nicer the new one is. I had already taken this out last week and armor all it and stuff um, just so it would be ready before I put it on. Um, this is the plastic things I was talking about. Some people say that their replacement kit does not come with these. So they pop them off of the, uh, the old one. <laughs> And clean them up and reuse them but mine came with them i wonder what they're for <laughs> maybe somebody could put a comment and tell me i'm very good i guess i could look it up but every video i've looked at says you need to remove the old ones put them on the new thing but nobody says why they're here um all right so let's just kind of 
do everything in reverse order now. Get the new cowl into place. Um, the first step is to um, get the two farther ends of it underneath the trim piece that sits at the either side of the window. So that's what I'm doing. Sliding that little metal part back under the windshield. So this part right here goes underneath the windshield. So that is where it's going to go. And then you can see it just kind of slides up in there and meets the trim at the, ba uh, the side of the window. This section here tucks underneath this rubber piece here, so make sure you slide it under there. And you'll pretty much know when you have it in the right spot because it's going to fit against the windshield for the most part. We haven't tightened it down, so there might be a little bit of a gap there, but once we tighten this down, it'll be in place. Uh, and then you also know that you got it in the right spot because the bolts for the wiper arms will be in the right place too. So that all appears to be good there. And you can also tell if you got it in the right spot because that fastener hole should line up. Tighten all these. And you just kind of got to put a little pressure down on them first to make sure that they're in place. But you'll see, you'll know you've gotten it right because you won't be able to pull up on it. Admit, this is not the best. Allen wrench for this. Before you replace the other trim pieces on either side, and you can see I've got them aligned up here, or hopefully you can, but just give it a good tug, you know, along the base and make sure that these pieces are secured before you go on to replace the other stuff. And since I got these pieces off here, I might as well clean them up. So I'm going to clean them up with some uh, cleaner and and I'll armor all them. Um, take note on how this piece, and when you're putting it back in, fits underneath that piece of rubber right there, and then it also kind of fits like there's like a little, almost like a little key. It slides once you've got it under that rubber piece, it slides into that little part right there like a little like a little key before you secure it I'm gonna use my 10 mil 10 millimeter wrench to secure this and I can see that that's not fully in there so I might need to push it down a little bit more on it and again like similar to when you put the cowl down for the first time and you're securing these lift up on it to make sure that it's secure and you'll, you'll know it's, these two pieces are not connected to each other and then just push this other side over here down let's do the other side do make sure when you put this piece back on that you get this rubber piece all over the top like that 
and these two pieces are not connected. So in the course of taking this off, you might detach this from here. Just make sure you slip it all back on so that it looks like that, um, that there's no gap or anything there. But that's it, it's on, it's secured, and now the last part is just to put this trim piece back. Obviously, that is not the last step. The last step will be to put the wipers back on, but um, you do need to put this trim back on as well. pins back there and there on looks fine let's do the other side special method to deciding exactly to position the wiper blades. Um, I just kind of am going to eyeball it and uh, I think I did take a picture of it before I did it so I'll probably check that too. And that's it. I'm going to tighten it down. And so when you're putting these back on, the arm with the long blade goes on the driver's side and I kind of eyeballed where I put them, but before I tighten them down completely, I'm just going to get in and run the blades for a second and sweep them and make sure that everything looks right before I fully tighten them down. And by the way, I'm glad that I did that little test because when I ran the wipers, uh, when they came up, they were hitting this trim piece. So it was definitely too far up in that down position. So I popped it off and I repositioned it put the bolt back on and I'm gonna try it again and make sure that that doesn't happen. And that's what you want. On the upswing, you can see I put some uh, wind, window cleaner on it just to make it slicker since it's not raining in the garage. And you can see like, here's where it stopped. It stopped right here. So that is how it should be positioned. Now I can fully that's tighten it. it. I fully tighten them, put the little plastic caps on. And we're done.